Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about how to calculate the lead time and resource time on business process maps. Here we can see a pretty typical process map on the left hand side. First of all, we're going to talk about the lead time. Everything always starts on day zero. And we also count seven days for the week because that's what the customer sees and feels. So we enter a zero on the first activity. And what we see here is two activities that start three days later. So we enter a three in the lead time column. And then 18 days later, we see that we have a meeting. So we add 18 to the three to give us the 21. Following that, we can see we've got activities here four days later. So that's 25 days. And then five days later, that's 30 days. And then finally, 19 days later, we see the decision at the end of the process, giving us a total of 49 days. The next thing for us to look at is the resources column. And what we have to do here is work out how much time is spent uh, doing each activity. And we look at this in hours, as that's a more appropriate unit for the amount of time spent in business process on an activity. And for this first one, we have one person for two hours. So we quite simply put two in this column. Next, we have two activities occurring in parallel, one person each, uh, each taking two hours. So quite simply, that's one times two plus one times two, so it's four hours. Next, we have a meeting. And what we have to do is realize the cost of the meeting. And we have eight people in this meeting for one hour. And so that's eight hours. And then we complete the rest of the map in a similar way, and we can see we've got half an hour here, hour and a half here, and a quarter of an hour here. A quarter of an hour is probably the smallest unit we want to use, really. And that gives us a grand total of 16 and a quarter hours. Now, if we put one over the other, 16 hours is approximately uh, two days, that gives us a figure of round about 4%. And that's the resources divided by the lead time. There is an argument that says that the resources time is the value added time. But remember, we haven't analysed this for waste. So that is a bit of an assumption. But it gives us a rough figure of the efficiency of the process. And for business process, typically, first cut, it's normally less than 